Hey everybody, got a Bible review to show you guys today. This is the Cambridge Clarion in calf skin. This is the NASB version. And uh, and it's really a uh, pleasure to get to review this one. I've had, this is the third one I've had. And uh, and really, it's, it's my favorite. I've had two calf split editions. Now this this can, uh, Clarion comes in this calf skin. It also comes in a goat skin edition and a calf split edition. The calf split edition is a little firmer, a little thicker cover, and it's also a paste down uh, paper liner like this one. And it's just not as soft of a cover. Um, I've had a NASB in calf split and ESV in calf split and this is my NASB in calf skin so before we get into the Bible let's look at the uh, packaging you got a clamshell box that uh, that it comes in it's really nice maybe it'll get to open so really nice Cambridge does an excellent job on their packaging and uh, really well done. Very well protected. On the back, there's a lot of the features and it's uh, kind of some of the details. You can pause that and check it out. I'm gonna talk about all those things anyway. All right, so uh, there's the ISBN right there. Check it out too. So we'll move that out of the way and bring in the Bible. This calfskin cover is really a smooth calfskin. I mean, really smooth. You also have this paper liner is um, is really, it stiffens it up a lot. So if I keep this edition and don't sell it or trade it, I'll be replacing the liner on this one for sure. Uh, putting a leather liner in it and edge lining it. Also the, uh, the spine, is it's kind of a young blood thing it's not really deeply stamped it's kind of a, a superficial stamping and the gold's really nice but i have seen some of these young blood uh stampings really wear show a lot of wear and it has holy bible on the front it's actually a little deeper stamping than what's on the spine maybe it's a different machine that stamps the the front than it is the spine but it's a little bit deeper anyway there's a nice tooling line around the perimeter and you have the tool ribs on the spine and uh, that's really about all you can really show on the cover. Uh, I think those are uh, spliced corners where they cut portions out and fold them in instead of paring down like an edge line by wood and you can see calfskin leather on the, uh, the bottom side of the inside of the cover. And you can see the black paper liner here, and it adjoins to the uh, the leather end sheets. And then as we open it up, you can see this is a uh, a beautifully produced Bible. Uh, it's sewn, and and uh, most all Cambridges are sewn. But even on the title page. It lays pretty flat. Let's get a couple pages on that side. We're in the forward and it lays flat. So it's really nice for a personal size to lay flat like that. The, uh, the uh, title page is here. And then we, we come to the publication page and you can see it's an 8.75 lexicon type. So that's probably, that's just a hair bigger than what you'd find in the personal size Quintel, which is 8.5. And it's printed and bound by Young Blood in the Netherlands, same as the uh, personal size Quintel. Uh, it's just a different font where the Quintel has the 2K Denmark font. This is the uh, Lexicon font. So uh, anyhow, it has the NASB information and all that stuff. You have a table of contents and your alphabetical uh, your books alphabetically and you have a forward preface and then it gets right into the, the text the text is laid out 
in a single column paragraph format with uh, references on the outer perimeter and you have some scriptural notes in in the bottom section um, it's really well done really nice layout really nice layout I've had like I said I've had several or a couple of these and historically this one has has not shown the page curl issues that others had um, I had an NASB that not for long and it never had the page curl issue uh, I had an ESV that did have the page curling issue and now the NASB I decided to give them another shot and this one has been raining for three days and muggy and decided and it's just not it's not curling up so it's definitely not a humidity issue at least uh, on the NASB or the, it, this one would have done that so anyway as we turn through, uh, the text is a black letter text. We'll get to the New Testament. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. The text is a black letter text, and uh, it's it's beautiful. Uh, I, I like I only like the red letter if it's done with the right shade of red. Uh, sometimes they make a red that's really distracting, and it can be uh, a really big put off. For a lot of Bible readers, so also you can really see here with the pages fan, it's a beautifully art gilded with like a salmon color art gilt. The one hiccup that I would say with the art gilding is that it's kind of spotty. It's hard to really tell from these pictures. You can kind of see right there. It's like it's spotty a little bit. And uh, does that bother me? Nah, not really. Uh, I, I think it almost kind of looks antiqued a little bit, um, which I'm fine with. But for some people, that will definitely bother them. So this edition, at least, has got some spotting on the art gilding. And uh, so as we turn, you can... Let me go here before I end and say that these ribbons are trash. I mean, really, come on, Cambridge. The, the list price for this Bible is $195, and you can get it on a on, uh, Christian book right now for $133. They should put better ribbons in these expensive Bibles. I mean, really, this is ridiculous. Uh, if I keep it, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the, the liner to a leather liner and obviously put in some nicer, much nicer ribbons. Uh, but ribbons not that expensive. To get really nice ribbons... It's not that much more. I don't know why that is a Cambridge. I mean, that's just Cambridge. All my Cambridge editions have got terrible ribbons. And it's one of the biggest kind of pet peeves for me when you're paying that much for a Bible. And it's one of the reasons why I don't have many Cambridges, really. Beautifully made Bibles, wonderfully printed Bibles. And the ribbons are just unnerving when they unravel and just, they fall apart. I don't like it. So anyway, we get to the end of Revelation. You get to your concordance. And it's a good size concordance. Uh, for a personal size, it's, it's really well done. Good size concordance. And after the concordance, you get to a map index. And then you have uh, 15 maps after that map index. And the great part about this is that all the maps are on Bible paper. So you can, you know, take, write your notes on them or draw on or whatever you want to do. Really interact with the maps instead of having like the glossy cardstock that would, uh, the glossy cardstock would wrinkle and, and you can't really write on it. It would smear and uh, all those things. So we'll get to the end of the map section. And you have uh, white sheets. It's one place where Alan and Skyler beat beat out the Cambridges. Uh, the Alan has got lined paper. The Skyler's got lined paper in the back. Cambridges should really add some lined paper in the back. I mean, just to just to make it an apples to apples kind of comparison. But after all the blank pages, you you have this on the. This tag, it shows the ISBN number again and some more identification for the 
make and model of this Clarion. You have your paper liner and uh, end sheet. It's like a leatherette, kind of black leatherette. But, uh, and then the back of this calf skin is really one of my favorite parts. It's just got a lot of wavy character. It's gonna look really great if I if I change the liner. It's gonna look really good. Put a leather liner in. This thing will want to fold up. I mean, it's it's just it's a it's amazing what how much it adds to the flexibility when you uh, change the liner out. So anyway, uh, really quick, I, I was gonna make a separate video, but since we're here, uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of show you a quick comparison. This is the Skylar personal size Quintel. Uh, same, roughly the same dimensions, aside from it being just a hair thinner. Personal size Quintel is just a little bit thinner than the than the Clarion. It's got the uh, double column format rather than the single column format. Uh, it's a little bit smaller of a text type, but it seems to be a little bit a little bit better as far as readability because. The two columns at least helps me uh, not get lost on where I'm at in the paragraph. So anyway, size reference. And then here is the PSR. This is the ESV, but uh, that's the Allen PSR. So uh, Cambridge, Scholar, and Allen uh, personal size Bibles. Uh, they're roughly similar in size. The PSR is a little bit bigger. A little bit taller and wider, but not as thick, so it's a little different in its thickness. And plus, this is a goat skin cover bound by Ludlow, so it's going to be a much nicer cover than uh, even some of the others that Youngblood does, but the Ludlow bindings are just crazy good. So, anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there to kind of give an idea of the size comparison with the, with the Clarion. If you like the Clarion, then you'll probably like these other two as far as size wise or if you have one of the other two now you you kind of have a good idea of how big the clarion is so uh anyway thank you guys for watching uh please check out the december giveaway the systematic theology study bible from crossway um and be eligible thank you guys again for watching and god bless